Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurn Solomon Scott Selections here for Sunday, August 20th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. Now I'm just going to go through, give it a look at play for some preseason football on Monday. So if you want some preseason action, check the video before this one. But for today's play, going to baseball, you'll get a matchup between the Red Sox and the Yankees taking place at around 1.30 can be some time. And for this game, going to take the road team here. Going to go with Boston on the money line at plus 102 on DraftKings. Time recording of 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberland's why we're going to take the Red Sox money line in this game. First reason these two teams are really heading in opposite directions. The Red Sox have been playing some good baseball lately as Boston has won four of its last six games. I mean, all the Yankees have completely fallen off a cliff and they went from fringe playoff contender to a team that doesn't really have much of a shot at this point on making the playoffs. The Yankees have lost each of their last seven games and a big reason why this team can't win is because this team cannot score. The Yankees have scored less than four runs in each of their last five games, and that's kind of been an issue all season long, and Boston's been the much better offensive team all season long. Boston's averaging 4.86 runs per game, which ranks seventh in the league, and the Yankees are averaging 4.24 runs per game, which ranks 23rd. I know Judge has had a couple home runs lately, but he's really been the only player on the team doing anything offensively, and with the Yankees really struggling based on their current form, I'm shocked they're actually laying in this game, and I do think Boston has a lot of value because of it. Now, to go to the pitching matchup for this game, both teams really don't have great options. The Red Sox are either going to use a bullpen game or they're going to use an opener, but it does seem like Pavetta might be getting a decent amount of the actual workload. And so far this season, he has not been great, but he has been decent against the Yankees this season. Very small sample size, though. He's faced them three times, but he's gone a total of four and two thirds, and he's given up no runs and no hits. So once again, I'm not sure how long Pavetta is going to go. He's not going to start the game or most likely not going to start the game, but he's been effective against the Yankees so far this season. So maybe he can once again pitch well against a team that cannot hit. If you're looking at his pitching for the Yankees, you have Clark Schmidt, who's been kind of up and down so far this season, but he did get shelled the last time out. Faced off against Atlanta, two and a third innings pitched, eight earned runs allowed. We saw the Red Sox kind of get to Garrett Cole earlier in the series. They've been in good form, and I do think as a result, the Red Sox should be able to open up a lead early in this game. But Boston uh, kind of underratedly has owned the Yankees so far this season. The Red Sox have won seven of the first eight meetings this season. But simply put, if you want to give me plus money fading a team that's lost seven straight games, I'm going to take it. Schmidt's not a great option when it comes to pitching. Pavetta might not be a great option. So they kind of cancel each other out. Maybe Schmidt's a little bit better, but the Yankees can't hit. I just find this price to be insane. And with the Yankees being projected to be a uh, potentially a division winning team and definitely a playoff team entering the season. Now they're three games under. They've lost seven straight. Their playoff hopes are completely slipping away. I just think morale wise, this team might be cooked. The Red Sox are seven games over. They still have a realistic shot of making the playoffs. And as a result, I think this game just means a bit more to Boston. But given the team that's in better form, that's seven and a one head to head against the opposition at plus money. Spoiler that once again here for Sunday, August 20th is going to be on the Red Sox money line at plus 102 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.